Hi and welcome back. This is section 22 of the Managing Business Strategy uh, program in which we're looking at the connections between performance and rewards. Uh, pre previous section we looked at the connection between performance and potential. This time we're looking at it from a rewards perspective. We've said that manage well. Um, we will be able to identify through the course of a year those that are uh, performing very highly, those that are performing well, those that perhaps aren't performing as well uh, as we would have expected. Uh, and ultimately, therefore, the reward proposition that we have needs to match that differentiation in performance delivery and contribution to performance and ultimately contribution to uh, the strategy. Um, it's it's noticeable, and we did point it out in the in, uh, and we will point out in the in the, in the material that um, the reward side is not necessarily at the top of the agenda or the top of the list of what people are looking for uh, when they are choosing and rechoosing employers as they do so much more often these days. But it is it is somewhere in the top five. And so the way that we go about the rewards and how we make those connections do have some importance to people. So again, we're saying, look, this may not be number one on people's agenda. It may not be the number one concern for employers, but it is a concern and it has a certain place where we need to take it seriously and there are certain approaches and certain guidelines we need to follow if we're perceived to be doing this as well as our workforce and our employees uh, would expect. So, have a look at the material as always, work through the material, think about the comparison of what we're suggesting from the way that your organization does it today, see if that gives you a few ideas, and as always, I'll come back and summarize for you a little bit later on. I'll talk to you soon.